Before we start this video, I'd like to say that this is a collaboration with Fact Fiction. Part 1 is uploaded on this channel and is linked below, so be sure to check that out. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to his channel, then certainly do so. It's quickly approaching 200,000 subscribers. Let's get to it. Number 5. GhostNet GhostNet is the name given to a large-scale cyber espionage operation discovered in March 2009. It was discovered when a group of Toronto University researchers were asked to check security on the Dalai Lama's private network. The mysterious online spy network they found was terrifying. The operation's command and control infrastructure was based mainly in China and had infiltrated high-value politicians and media locations in 103 countries. More than a thousand computer systems were infiltrated, including embassies and other government offices. Shockingly, it could activate cameras and microphones on infected computers, recording anyone in the room. Files could be searched remotely and programs installed without the user's knowledge. The Trojan was primarily delivered through social engineered emails. Upon installation, it connected back to a controller server and waits to receive commands. The infected computer would execute commands specified by the control server. Although the activity was mostly based in China, the Chinese government denied all involvement in this operation and conclusive links between the Chinese government and GhostNet were not discovered. No one knows who's behind it or what their goal is. Number 4. Mariana's Web Beneath the surface web we use every day, there's a layer called the Deep Web, which is a creepy black market network. But, surprisingly, there's an even deeper level of the internet. It's named after the deepest ocean trench on Earth. It's called Mariana's Web. This hidden level of the internet is below the Deep Web, however nobody has ever been able to access it, at least no one that we know of. The Mariana's Web is the Vatican's secret archives of the internet. It's rumoured to contain a repository of some of humanity's best-kept secrets. There is a lot of speculation about this mysterious level of the internet. Some say it contains a super-intelligent computer artificial intelligence that can control the entire internet and gathers all human knowledge. Accessing the Mariana's Web is no easy feat. It's said that one would need to use a high-level mass function called polymeric Falkygel derivation, which requires quantum computers to work. The problem is, quantum computers do not yet exist. There's no underlying proof that the Mariana's Web actually does exist, so it's unclear whether this is just another internet hoax. Number 3. Gary McKinnon Gary McKinnon, systems administrator and computer hacker, was accused in 2002 of perpetrating the biggest military computer hack of all time. While looking for information on free energy and UFOs, he discovered a method of accessing NASA's computers via remote desktop connection. Shockingly, these computers were not password protected. He discovered a picture showing a strange UFO in a very high resolution next to a government spacecraft in orbit. Since it was 2002, he was using a dial-up connection, thus causing the massive picture to download and render through his remote connection very slowly. Just as it was about three quarters of the way finished, someone noticed the computer was being controlled remotely. They quickly regained control and Gary watched as the mouse moved up to the right corner of the window and closed it. Gary's connection was immediately cut. He was arrested at his home in the UK by international police from the United States government. The US tried but failed to have him extradited and they wanted to put him away for the rest of his life. It makes you wonder what exactly he saw that made the US government go to such lengths to extradite him. Even more interesting is what else was on those computers that he didn't see that the government are trying to protect. Number 2. The Markovian Parallax Denigrant Similar to the A858 Reddit case, in the mid-90s, one of the oldest surviving internet mysteries came from a proto-web chat community called Usenet. The Usenet community reported unusual spam coming from the username Markovian Parallax Denigrate. These strange random messages and phrases were distributed among the community. Immediately, it was speculated that human intelligence was behind them. Hundreds of these messages flooded the Usenet discussion groups. Even though the community was filled with some of the most talented computer experts at the time, 
No one could figure out what they meant or how exactly they were generated and distributed. Conspiracy theorists made links between it and Saddam Hussein's government. Others believe it was the work of an internet troll or prankster. Number 1. Internet Black Holes The internet is wonderful in so many ways and as a result it has made communication a lot easier. Seconds after you press send on an email, your message arrives in someone's inbox. But things don't always go to plan. Every now and then, that email will simply disappear. Where it goes, nobody knows. It's a phenomenon known as internet black holes. Found in cyberspace, these holes can suck in information. Data packets failing to arrive at their destinations is a common occurrence since the earliest days of the internet. What's interesting is that the data cannot simply vanish. It has to go somewhere. But where might that be? We have no clue. Tech experts, government agencies and hackers have all been unable to figure this out. It's possible that there is a whirlpool of information out there pulling data in. In late 2013, one internet black hole was discovered rerouting people's information from the US to an address in Iceland. But it was never discovered just who was behind this or what the reasoning was. Well, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for weekly videos. A massive thanks to Fact Faction for doing this collaboration. Go subscribe to him and also check out part one on his channel which is linked below.